Here are today's top stories in your news on the go this morning. Coronavirus continues to claim lives in central New York, including in Oneida County, where the health department announced five more deaths, including two nursing home-related deaths. More than half of the total deaths in the state over that time span on Friday accounted in Oneida County. The death toll has also risen to 97 there. Here in Onondaga County, 101 people were tested for COVID-19 at the On Center's Universal Testing Site. Well, a big paving project is set to get started on Interstate 81 Monday. It will affect six miles of the interstate from just north of State Route 31 to Cicero to just south of State Route 49 in Hastings. Expect lane closures and delays weekdays, weekends, and overnight with just one lane open in each direction. Well, the project also includes on and off-ramp closures and is expected to wrap up in November. Well, Cicero police are putting you on the lookout for a man, 45-year-old Christopher Gall, following a robbery at the direct subs on Brewerton Road Thursday. Well, police say Gall walked into the shop wearing a mask and lifted his shirt to show the butt of a gun before demanding money and running off. Gall is known to frequent the Windsor Place Apartments on Bear Road and may be driving a tan 2012 Chevy Equinox. His photo is on localsyr.com. You can call Cicero police if you see him. Call 911 as well. Well, five young children were sent to the hospital after a pickup truck struck the car they were in, causing it to spin and hit a utility pole on Route 12 in the town of Remsen. Well, the pickup truck was pickup truck driver was ticketed for not yielding. The children and 25-year-old driver of the car suffered non-life-threatening injuries.